good just a week ago We was together smoking, hella reefer smoke All in the vehicle, I got the word back He was in the vehicle, with the D's I bet he thought he was low Damn, this nigga spent the night yeah, in my crib dude, I was in my taken aback by the honesty He's like, yeah bro, I'm just smoking some crack <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> okay I appreciate the honesty, you know? I swear you get another vape every fucking episode. Well. You got, you're up to four now. Wasting away I, again I was in like, Vaporilla. I was here how many episodes ago? You had two? I don't think, uh, well, so this one's like, tastes pretty burnt, so I'll just, probably throw it away tonight. But just in case, there's a couple hits left in it, you just hold uh, on to it. <laughs> This one lets me know my juice sitch, and I got one bar of juice, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, this one I don't. The lady really misled me on this Blake's one. Like the crazy vape lady. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw somebody shared something on Facebook that said an Easter egg hunt, but it's me looking for my vapes. I was like, wow, I've never. That's <laughs> real. <laughs> related to something so much. And they're all Easter colors, too. It's just they're speedway. all pastels. They just they keep hustling you into to vapes there. This one's blueberry pie, dude. <laughs> that, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Oh, look at Evil Knievel, dude. Yeah, I was, just, I was watching him. I'm like, <laughs> I had people watching go in Newcastle all go the time. <laughs> He's going to go do a badass stunt. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know, man. My name's Kane Lady, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see her doing some stunts. Jumping off a roof with an umbrella, like... Whipping that cane around. Yeah. <laughs> She's always whipping that thang around, dude. I'm going to start the, uh, the like, uh, rumor that she actually was Carmen Sandiego. <laughs> <laughs> I actually believe that, dude. Right? Yeah. Already. It's Never not even a rumor. I think that's true, together. dude. I think that's true. Kane Lady is actually Carmen San Diego. I think you're on to something. I think yeah. I am. Where in the world is she now, even? You know? She West probably, Washington well, Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Spain. Give, give it a couple hours. Pull it off a heist or something. <laughs> Isn't that what Carmen San Diego did? To be fair, that's the real interview you guys need to do. I would like to. Cane lady. In a kind way. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Like actual get the story. She's an interesting of, person. Yeah. The inside uh, scoop. I heard she writes poetry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, it would be cool to talk to her. I wonder if she'd come to an open mic and read her poetry. That would be cool. I think you would break Newcastle if that happened. Uh, yeah. like, like, the people of Newcastle would just. I think Newcastle's already broken. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> personally, but we're trying to bring it together, I guess. <laughs> One lonely soul at a time. Yeah. This tastes like freezer burnt grape popsicles, and I love it, dude. I like the grape one, but like not freezer burnt gross, but like you know that that little tinge only on the grape. Yeah. It only counts on the grape. I don't know why. That's probably my favorite C4 flavor. I'm a grape grape soda, grape popsicle. Have you tried the grape popsicle? Mm-hmm. Have you tried all the popsicle flavors? <sighs> Maybe. I think I've had like two or three, four, or four of them. There's four? I think at Sam's Damn. Club they had like oh, a four-pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is four. They had the orange cream yeah. popsicle one. I didn't like that I'm one I'm not much. a fan. Nah. The Hawaiian... Pineapple. I'm all, I'm up on <laughs> the on the energy, energy drink drinks. game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been on top of it. Yeah, probably because I liked cocaine before. <laughs> you know, I'm just yeah, like now I just drink energy drinks. Yeah, what will put me into a semi manic state? <laughs> oh, this C4 will. <laughs> I just brew my coffee until it's as strong as Coke. I drink yeah, a lot of yeah. coffee too. What kind of coffee do you? What's your what kind of coffee? And what's your coffee to water ratio? Um, scoop wise. Well, I'm pretty. I like it pretty, pretty thick. 
and yeah. sludgy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> dark. Uh, yeah, I, I want that, like, melted dark chocolate. Just, damn. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Enough about your so Pornhub what, searches. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like your coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> uh, no, uh, I like, yeah, I like, I'm big in the dark roast. I Me brew too. a little, a little extra dark. I like coffee and, uh, flavor, too. Yeah, like, like some people bold. are like, I just drink coffee for the caffeine. And like, yeah. I actually like the taste of coffee. I love the yeah. taste yeah. of coffee. Yeah, I drink mine black. I like just a little bit of sugar because I like the bitterness of coffee. So like, I just like just like a little bit. I put a little bit of creamer. A little bit of cream. I yeah. like the jugs. just a, just enough to make it a little creamy. I don't want to taste it. I like. Yeah. No, I, I, guess, know. You know. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, because my mom takes a lot of cream. I don't even brew my own coffee anymore. I buy, like, jugs of it at the store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's already, like, so I can just pour it in the morning because I drink it cold. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, mind. I mainly Easy. use a Keurig now, which honestly is not my favorite. No. Nah. I'd much rather um, brew, but, like, it, it, it's just me. It's so convenient. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, so, you didn't say your scoop to water ratio. Well, though. I mean... I don't so know because say I, I only brew one cup and I use three tablespoons. Three tablespoons for, one, for my one cup. big cups. So it's that that's not even that big. What do you fill the water? Is it like the four line? Like if you're so like you have a regular coffee pot, right? Uh, no, I'm not using a coffee pot. Oh, okay. When I was using a coffee pot, uh, I would I want to say to four four cups but uh, that's just one cup to me <laughs> right yeah 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 that's why i was asking like yeah. if you're looking on it that's like one cup to me too. yeah so it's like three tablespoons for that okay that's pretty much around what i'm at now I, the one i do have is it's you can use grounds but it's single serve so okay i get it's pretty much the same amount but yeah yeah what about you what's your what's your Oh, you buy it by well, the jugs. Well, I buy the jugs, but I do have one of them Nespresso. It's yeah. kind of like a Keurig. Okay. But I really just use it for espresso because I drink a lot of espresso, too. I love espresso. Like, I'll do, like, cold brew with, like, four shots of espresso in it. Yeah. Like, 30 ounces of cold brew every day. Damn, That's damn. how much I drink in the morning. A little splash of cream. I drink, like, one to two cups of coffee, and then I usually drink two energy drinks a day also. And then water. Yeah, I drink water. Or, like, I get the Celsius packets, too. Yeah. Just for that little... If I need a little boost of caffeine after my I, six, I like 700 something, milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. I, I like something flavorful when I eat, though. So, like, I'll have a soda or, like, um, tea, yeah. juice or something. Not usually juice, but tea. I like the carbonation, though. There's Jesus something that it just goes so good with food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like if I'm having McDonald's Coke. The McDonald's Coke. Coke. It washes it down. Something else. If I'm hungover, it's a Sprite. Because there's like something medical about it. Yeah. Yeah. It refreshes you. Yeah. It like brings you back to life. There's something medical about their Coke, too. Their Coke, too. Yeah. I guess they. it's something about how they... uh, It's like their ratio of syrup. Just not that. Not just that, but they're one of the only places that uh, carry the syrup in uh, metal... Containers, oh, not in the bag. Yeah, they're not the bags, so that has something to do with it as well. Yeah, I love a good metal taste. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's sells more Coke than Pepsi sells everywhere around the world. More than the cartel. Uh, yeah, that's why Pepsi bought uh, Taco Bell and KFC because yeah. of the cartels and yep. selling Coke. <laughs> yeah. I think you've gotten to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. No, hey, Pepsi <laughs> literally bought. Uh, KFC and Taco Bell and oh, combine shit. them all into one restaurant just so they could sell Pepsi in it. Yeah. And compete. Oh, because they l- had literally to. like just in McDonald's Coke, there's more Coke sold in yeah, just McDonald's. It's pretty unfortunate the restaurants that they got to sell because like yeah. even though they're still popular, they're nowhere near fucking like McDonald's. Yeah. Or Burger King. I'm um, a Dr. Pepper guy. Me uh, too. They're independent. I like Dr. Pepper. They I run love on their DP, own, dude. You know? Double penetration. You'll, you'll, yeah. You'll see them on a Pepsi line. You'll see them on a Coca-Cola <laughs> line. The DP. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a Dr. Pepper person also. Fan. Yeah. It's an authentic blend of 23 flavors, dude. It's not an everyday carry. No, yeah. I, I don't drink yeah. pop every day. Like, yeah, so I, I don't do. drink soda. I do. I used to. I haven't lately. I drink a lot of Gatorade now, though, too. I drink Gatorade, yeah. Gatorade I just want a full more. week with no soda. I, I tried, uh, boy, I had a treat the other night. Did you ever have the aloe water aloe. with chunks of aloe in it? I like it. Some um, people don't. Did you have it? Before? Yeah, I've had yeah. it. I don't know. I don't think wow, I have. Wow, I couldn't believe how good that was. It's like refreshing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's like biting. It's the same experience as like biting into a juicy fruit. Yeah, like Damn. the pulp from the like uh, citrus fruit almost is like what's floating in it from yeah. the aloe. Mm. Yeah. But it's fucking delicious. Some people don't like the texture because it's like kind of like thicker. Yeah, there's, like, there's I almost <laughs> feel like I almost I, choked on it on an aloe chunk. There it, used to be it, a no, drink. it was all at the bottom. There's a, like Chunks collected at the bottom, at the bottom, and the last gulp just got me. <laughs> it, was, it was almost an emergency. Just a mouthful of aloe. Yep. Yeah, I used to. There was like H two aloe was the name of the one drink that I would buy at the store all the time. It was I was, like I was expecting it to taste like Kleenex, to be honest. It, yeah, Kleenex. Like, yeah, cause like a whole ass al- tissue. It's, it's yeah, aloe. It's yeah. aloe. Yeah, I don't know. But it does like taste lotion. Like, yeah, yeah. Tissue. <laughs> uh, I always like when I lived in Florida. I had an aloe plant. Like when I got sunburn, I would just cut a hunk off and cut it open. And yeah, the gel inside mm-hmm. of it. That's yep. exactly what's in that drink. Yeah, we'd keep one in the kitchens I worked in. So when you burnt yourself, you'd just go break a leaf off. And yeah, it was yeah. nice. Yeah, it made me feel. Maybe I feels was like, nice. whoa, dude. Whoa. Look at me. I'm getting aloe straight from the source. <laughs> <laughs> Very holistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> None of that processed <laughs> aloe. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. I don't buy that bottled shit. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'll start making you guys these aloe drinks if you want. <laughs> It'll be delicious, dude. Yeah, I feel like when I was in Vegas, they were, like, cutting aloe up and, like, doing, like, a drink with it where they'd, like, scrape it. And they were, like, mixing liquor in with it. Like, it was, like, a cocktail with That's aloe in it. pretty nutty. I never thought to eat it. Yeah. I don't look at cactus and go, I wonder if, if yeah. I could just taste that. Unless it's a pe- some peyote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that was figured out. Peyote? Yeah. Like, I get it. Like, it's been used for forever. But, like, who was the guy that was like, this thing kind of looks like a butthole. I wonder what happens if I eat it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, like, furry. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that's like. I heard it's intense. <clears throat> little peyote. A little peyote action, baby. Peyote manning. Wally peyote. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. Did you ever try try peyote? Did I or yeah. would I? Both. No. Shit. I, don't know. I mean, I, I probably would, but no. Did you boof it? Boof it? Yeah. Absolutely. Is, is there any other way? I heard that's the best way, at least. It's yeah. the best way for everything. It is. You just straight, boof it. Straight in it's there. the only way I take my NyQuil. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done peyote. I, I know. never have. I know. Well... Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's something you would know if you did. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, like, oh shit, man! That one night in the desert, I was eating peyote, like <laughs> <laughs> with the tribesmen. Uh, I came to, and I was actually just sitting in someone's living room. I wasn't even in the desert. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was on the south. The episode, side. <laughs> the episode of The Simpsons where Homer eats that pepper, and he has like a peyote trip. <laughs> <laughs> He, he's just on a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's happened to me. Not on peyote or peppers. On LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Come to. Yeah. Whoa, we're golfing? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my visor? <laughs> <laughs> Who shit my pants? <laughs> we were rocking and rolling. Oh, yeah. I rock and roll every night, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. So how was the uh, event? The event was good. Yeah. 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 
everything went pretty good i'm excited for uh, i'm excited for more yeah yeah for um an event where like six other events aren't coming on that day (laughs) (laughs) i went to a pretty cool event the other night oh yeah um game show oh yeah yeah it was pretty cool that's awesome so it's a comedian game show there's two teams of three comedians they played some games pretty inspired by it personally i think it would be cool to have something like that up here yeah man yeah they killed it man it was fucking awesome yeah yeah i wish i could have made it to that one that one did something really cool that's super cool yeah yeah i mean it's cool just to like see that you guys are doing something in newcastle so. yeah we're trying to yeah. anyway man yeah but those people in the people in newcastle are great at being like there's nothing ever to do here oh, and then you oh, do yeah. something here and it's well, well i don't want to do that yeah i didn't mean that <laughs> that's not <laughs> yeah can you do something else it's like you know what well why don't you go fucking do what you want to do then yeah you put something together then they want polka that's what they want we need an escape room an escape room yeah right you fucking live in one <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude. A giant <laughs> try and leave room. newcastle literally newcastle is an escape room <laughs> yeah. like, did you I play for 35 out. years <laughs> yeah. at least yeah i got out and then like i came back and they like redid the whole sk- so i couldn't figure out the yeah. escape again so i'm still here <laughs> that's the big plot twist is right you even get a minute where you think okay i escaped and then nope you're back yep. you just wake up yeah i think yeah. there was i think there was like a saw on. where they it's brought a fever dream <laughs> one of the people back on it's like that it's like saw two to three or whatever it's <laughs> yeah. like they brought the same person back and was like fuck i got caught again <laughs> <laughs> yeah biggest escape room ever <laughs> in at least pennsylvania anyway yeah. I love it here, dude. No, I actually like Newcastle. There's a lot of potential. It's just one of them things where like like you said, uh, all the just, old people they just fight the rift. back. Yep. I've been on a real tear about this lately. <laughs> about the old people. Yeah, they just fight it. Well, I'll say it what I was telling you guys before we started. All the medical advances we've had old people are living longer than ever and that might be a fucking problem <laughs> like <laughs> it seems to be a bit of a problem science has gone too far yeah, yeah man yeah no i think you're right now they just won't leave congress <laughs> this is like the, the middle worst. of the grocery aisle yeah, yeah that's they what just, really gets me they won't leave this i hate grocery shopping is the worst erectile dysfunction awareness campaign <laughs> i've ever seen in my life yeah i hate it dude i hate all of it i hate when they drive i fucking <laughs> yeah, the grocery store is where it kicks off for yeah, me grocery That's... stores dude so yeah you know all we were like we need to extend human life we need to keep people better for longer without actually thinking if that was what we should do yeah no you're right and we've been taking advice from them our entire life, and look at where we're at now, dude. <laughs> so I think that's the biggest yeah. thing that everybody needs to take into account. We've been taking advice from these motherfuckers our entire life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now look at us, dude. I don't know. Now look at us. We got to fight back. Take their walkers away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Start revoking those licenses. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Getting rid of handicap ramps. Man, there's a lot of fucking bikers. That's down the here, same dude. one. That's evil Bicycle. can evil. Dude, I've seen him go if that's the same one with the headlight, I've seen him go up and down at least three or four times. He got some good weather. He's out cruising. <laughs> yeah, I think he's selling drugs. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> or buying them. Yeah, maybe he's door dashing. Door dashing. On a bike? On a pedal bike? Yeah. yeah. Could uh, be. That's how you save a little money. I'd be so mad. My food would be so cold by the time <laughs> I got there, dude. I'd be like, what the f- You see a bike pull up. It's just, fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. You go out there and break it in you, half. Dude. You got three drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're half empty through his <laughs> backpack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
He's just like balancing it on his head. Yeah. Like from the jungle book. <laughs> He's just like only pedaling. Just <laughs> it's actually impressive. <laughs> I don't know whether to be mad or impressed. <laughs> He's just, now he's just got cup holders clipped all over his bike. All over, yeah. That he puts all the drinks in. <laughs> Damn, uh, man, Anthony's smoking a black and <laughs> Getting grimy in here. Hell man. yeah. Taking Damn. it back, dude. Damn, dude, are we about to... Let's put on some pretty Ricky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From here on out on this episode. Smooth? I freaked this it's thing. Duck castle. You freaked it? No, no. no. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro. Yeah, what are that, I- <laughs> that's... <laughs> I freaked it. I was like, what are we in like 10th grade? Yeah. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. We really, I I used to freak them. Uh, yep. Yeah, take dude. It, the, the hour and a half process. Yeah, I'd dude. be like, I only smoke wood tips. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You got real serious. I only wanted the wood tips. Like, yep. I mean, yeah, it's better for some you. Some people like it's the better wood for in the their environment. Mouth, dude. I don't know. About to put on some Jewel Santana. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Featuring J.R. Ryder. <laughs> uh, I shit. fucking love yeah. Jewels, dude. Now Jewels, too. dip, dip. Santana, set, set. It's Duck Castle for the rest of the episode. Duck Castle. Not Newcastle. That's the only thing I do call it, I'm pretty sure. Duck Castle. <laughs> And if I called it anything else, I want edits <laughs> to make it just put duh <laughs> every every the. <laughs> you should start doing the castle news, and it's just news segments of things that have happened. Like he has uh oh the onion oh yeah or not the, the onion, onion. <laughs> <laughs> the crown the yeah crown. the crown <laughs> my rip off of the onion yeah yeah but like I mean I'm talking like actual sitting in front of here we, done up uh, well like, yeah i was we, we talked about doing new segments for the crowd y- that yeah yeah cool. i think it would be awesome and you could get down to like the real problems in newcastle yeah like a solar sign or a solar piece of art you know yeah and how um, it just is really affecting i, I newcastle. didn't see anything about that yeah, it was a. Oh, you didn't see that? No. Yeah, I got Castle sucked News into arguing with old people, dude. Yep. I think that's partly why I'm on an old person. Camp I think right it's now. pretty cool. It's like it tur- is it's cool, like wind turbines. It's not even solar. It's like turbines that like charge it up to keep it. It's like a piece I, of art. I mean, it's pretty cool. Everybody's like cool. shitting on it. I'm like, yeah. why wouldn't you want downtown well, want to look they? nice? And they're like, how about some businesses? I'm like, do you? How many businesses want to come down here whenever it looks like shit? Well, and it's like, yeah, you're right. Okay, how about some businesses? But it's still, it's, it's still something that like this is another person's contribution. Yeah, and the like city can't not make everybody business pop up. Yeah. Right. So I'm like. My favorite, though, is, like, all these people that say that literally all the people that complain don't do a single fucking thing for new... Like, they don't do anything around here except exist, dude. All they do is live in the community and take. They don't fucking... All right, you want a business down here? Why don't you go fucking start a business down here, then? Yeah, or just, like, helping businesses down here. Right. Like, things like that. Something. Ex- because, like, let me tell you how helpful it is for you to shit on everything down here. On dude. Facebook all day. Yep. Every yeah. day. All day long. Yeah. And it's the same Need fucking the people. You want. Yeah, and, like, it's the same thing you're saying, like, when there's an event. Okay, if you want to see businesses down here, you need to go to events and things that are happening down here. Because no businesses are going to come somewhere where no one's going out, no one's spending money. That's what a business wants to make money. Right. Not to these people. Art. They hate it. Yeah. I was like, that actually looks pretty cool. Like, I don't know what everybody's fucking problem is. Yeah. Dude. I mean, you should fill the place with art. It would look dope yep. down here dude people would come to see it right people would want to be down here because there would just be like it would be aesthetically pleasing yeah <laughs> like <laughs> yeah uh people were like oh that'll be stolen which is funny well, well okay yeah and i, and I <laughs> they're, okay. like, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna scrap that That's they, funny. they might have a point there <laughs> yeah. but like that would happen in any city like you yeah, know dude, what like, i mean like, like oh you think new Ca- like oh you think newcastle was bad yeah like really like you like sure it's not 
great but like have you been to an actual big city have you been to a real bad area <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, One of where it's, where there's bars on every window <laughs> yeah and like man. they'll probably get it's more like for the chains around the fountain than they will for the art that's hanging there that they have to yeah. climb and try and tear down they and, do take those chains yeah that's what i mean yeah. like that's so funny they that have they backup do chains <laughs> just yeah. for yeah i wonder how much they get for those I wonder how many times the scrapyard's been like, oh, some chains again. <laughs> <laughs> wonder where you got these. Yeah. How are these people getting caught for that? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> that is nuts. Can you imagine a crackhead just care? I wonder how much those chains weigh, dude. How many are they They got to be pretty heavy. They're big The chains. last episode I was crackheads on, I swear so it was like strong. 20 times a police officer drove past. Yeah, man. How are you getting anywhere from downtown with them huge yeah. chains? Like, I don't know. Right. It's nuts. That crackhead ingenuity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I'm surprised we don't see too many prostitutes down here, dude. Yeah, they the downtown area is not their... It's not their stomping ground. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I guess. I thought we'd see some... Like the some window watching? Grosser, yeah. 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 A little farther down. I don't think, dude. Yeah, I've never seen. I see. I, I always laugh because people like I've seen like in the news like them getting busted, and when I'm like, we I never school, really. Jay seen Leno them had like Newcastle was on Jay Leno. For, I remember like, that for yeah. the hooker that was like. It was like two old dudes that got this hooker, hooker for like four dollars. Uh, yeah, something. it was like two bucks and some change for each of them. Like, I know who that was. It, you, uh, yeah. It, you know what? That's the rebuttal for everyone complaining about businesses not going in here. Brothel. It'll yeah, bring dude. so much business. A fucking brothel where you only need yep. a tree fitty. Yeah. <laughs> you have a red light district. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right next to Burger King. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny, dude. Yep. I pound these waters and then I... Pee a lot? Pee constantly. Yeah, dude. I... I pee a lot too. I got a wee. Well, I pound these energy drinks. I know after I drink one, I usually I'm getting close to having to pee. Oh yeah. So we still got our Midsummer Madness event coming up here in April too. Ooh, yeah. Where at? 13th and 14th. That's still at that Hotel Conneaut. Okay. The Hotel just Conneaut. 13th and 14th. You 13th said? and 14th. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure that. Yep. 13th and 14th it's a saturday and sunday so um and hotel coniot's haunted yeah right yeah and that's this um, is like a paranormal psychic thing so there's like ghost hunting things there there's like psychics you can go get readings that'd be cool yeah it's pretty fun maybe we should go up there it's a good do time. something from there or something i wonder if they'd let us i'm down man yeah i know the hotel's under new wait, wait when is it 13th and 14th of April. It's a Saturday and Sunday. Okay. It's like maybe yeah. we could do a Sunday or something. Even if we don't do anything from there, it would still be cool to go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, even just network. Go, like, talk to some of them, see if you can get them to come on. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. For sure. Because, like, we definitely want to uh, continue our uh, weird weird cast episodes we need to do one yeah yeah we haven't done one in a while huh yeah we've only done one yeah have we only done one yep. yeah oh damn yeah what kind of creepy shit you know about dude dude there's so much i mean it's kind of cool because of the area we live in it's like the whole rust belt in general has a lot of like urban legend and a yeah, lot of man. like cryptide like you know what i mean yeah yeah i i was just recently went down to uh, appalachia cryptid yeah wormhole a little bit and i didn't realize how much weird shit happens in this area yeah it's kind of like the whole bigfoot like this area has a bigfoot society i'm pretty sure i didn't know that he was specifically from this area I, i mean it depends some people like bigfoot isn't just like santa claus well he like, was originally yeah, from yeah. detroit y- yeah he, eight, he, he lived he, nine he mile lived, right next to eight mile in detroit yeah, I was gonna yeah. Say. all right he lost in the battle rap and then had to go yep. sam squanch hide in the mountains <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, there's like literally a Bigfoot society in the area too. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess it makes sense that it would be a species. So like there, yeah, technically wouldn't not be like just there's one. just one. Yeah. But you know. I just feel like we would have fucking seen one by now, though. Yeah. I mean, like I like like the whole Jersey Devil. That's a cool one to go down. Yeah, Mothman. Um, Mothman's a cool one, especially if you've ever been to that area. How they kind of embrace it. Yeah, they really do. Um, and I want to go. So like I've never been there, but I read something about it uh, and seen that they have stuff, and I'd like to go down there and check that out. Yeah. There's just, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because of that rust belt and, like, the whole, like, telling tales. and But it is that whole, all the way down through the Appalachians, like, different stories. I know one of them was about these almost, like, gnome-type people that lived in the mountainside. Mm. I think they were they were either giants or they, it was, like, one or the other. They were either really tall or they were really short. But they would fight with the Indians like the Native Americans. Oh, shit. Yeah. And uh, apparently they got, like, backed into a cave and, like, were living in the mountain and they, like, closed it off. The Indians did, huh? Yeah, like the Native Americans in the area. Trapped them in there. Yep. Yeah. Isn't uh, uh, Wendigo, too? That's this area, isn't it? I'm not sure. A Wendigo? Because it's a Native American thing yeah. as well, so... I thought anyway i don't know i mean just in general like uh like mary black that whole there's so many cool little things in the area the I mean, maybe man. it's just because as a kid we were always like telling stories and trying to scare each other yeah. and so it's like sometimes hard to decipher what's just like through the grapevine talk and what's actually true. What was that one house out by your old place in Laurel? Oh, the one by the tree. Yeah, like there was like like a light was always on. Always on something. in the window, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there was like some tale behind that, I think, too. Yeah, I forget what it was. I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, but it's could- like right by like the tree. What is that, County Line Road or... It ha- they would call I'm it like sure. the hanging tree. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was—the yep. hanging tree. Yeah, yeah, that was freaky. Because there always was a light on. Nobody lived there. And no, yeah, there was never anyone there. Yeah, which I guess, like, if you're trying to rent, but you don't want people thinking. Yeah, now as a grown-up, I'm like, yeah, I'd leave a they, light on too. They wanted to keep their copper, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. their copper pipes, dude, and their gutters. <laughs> yeah. I always just thought it'd be cool to, like, travel to some of those places, though. Yeah, man. Just go yeah, see, like, sure. Mount Pleasant, go see the Mothman shit and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. That would be cool. I like doing shit like that. I've been to just, like, a ton of abandoned places, um, which is also really cool. I don't know much of the lore behind some of them. Like, I know what they used to be or whatever, but... As far as like haunted or whatever, the one place, the train depot over in uh, Youngstown area that we went to, um, they did end up finding bodies over there. So that's kind of yeah adds a little mystery to the yeah could have been I, killed, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean it's Youngstown, could you know? Yeah, the yo. It is Youngstown. It is Youngstown, you know. Boys will be boys. Yeah. <laughs> you have that on these big jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Just fucking kill somebody sometimes, dude. Just put the body in an abandoned train depot. Yeah. That's what I do. Abandoned train depot. When I have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there'll be a bunch of like uh, ghost hunters and different stuff like that there bunch of vendors maybe go see a psychic see if they'll tell you you know man i have bad experiences with psychics dude psychic like there's nothing worse than a psychic telling your girlfriend that you're doing something (laughs) oh Oh, man (laughs) i would yeah you know <laughs> and you're just like, That's what fucked. the fuck, dude? You're gonna believe this dude with a crystal ball that you don't know? Yeah, yeah. I've had experiences like that. 
I'm like, uh, okay. That's dirty. That's that's, fucking that's a down. That's yeah. Cool. That's fucked up. What did they? What did they tell you? Tell it, her. It was just like that you were up to. Uh, th- it wasn't like specific. Like yeah. of course He's it was oh, something yeah. because He's doing yeah something yeah dirty. you know like it's just like okay dude like I'm at work right now like <laughs> <laughs> you throwing me under the bus dude yeah man I get to get off work to this you bullshit need to check his phone immediately yeah yeah some shit like that like I see a cell phone yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. right yeah well like I don't even have a lock on my phone I haven't it, uh, locks on my phone are annoying to me so like I never have a lock on my phone I ain't got shit to hide yeah you know what I mean like whatever uh, but like it's almost as bad as like a bad dream like you cheated on me in your dream and you're like okay so is this gonna be a bad day because of your yeah. nightmare or whatever dude like this is not fair some psychic told me in three years you're gonna cheat on me <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> Let's just end it now then I guess yeah. Let's just fucking save us the fucking trauma for the next three years yeah now I always wonder I always wonder that cause like I do believe in like you know certain things and like there's yeah. things i've seen but like how many of them are grifters uh dude there's a ton of do you know what i mean man. where they're just like yeah. oh yeah yeah a lot everyone there is really nice you know what i mean it's kind of like this community that's why me and Ga- like me and gabby like doing it yeah everyone's like more laid back and nice and it's the same thing with these crystals, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, I've had every crystal under the sun in my house, and I was still broke, anxious, tired, yeah. depressed. Every crystal I've met has been crazy, though. I, I like talking about women. I personally <laughs> I personally like when women show me their crystals. Yeah. I like I like to know the early signs of dementia. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Unfortunately, citrine doesn't help a chemical imbalance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is one of them weird things where, like, I could go over someone's house and they, she tells me she's a witch and she can pull out crystals and show me. But when I, like, pull rocks out of my pocket and I'm like, check out this thing I found down by the creek, like, they look at me fucking goofy and don't want <laughs> me to return their call. Like, <laughs> like, well, that was bird bones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It always reminds me of that episode of Always Sunny where they're like on the beach and he eats like Molly or whatever <laughs> with the waitress or the waitress eats Molly and they're on the beach and they wake up the next morning. He's like, but I gave you this jewel. And it's like a broken bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I love Always Sunny, man. Yeah. Me too. I like old Always Sunny though. The newer seasons aren't my favorite. It's good. It's good. It's funny. It's just. It's not the same. That's man. how everything is. That's the. I, that's I really getting love older. That's like old people things. Where like, no, oh, it used to be good. No, it's man, because it's so still long. good. It's just they're it's got, running out of things to do. Yeah, could you imagine trying to write six seasons of something? D- yeah, that's all they bait. have like in fourteen, uh, fifteen. I think we're we're, 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 at, we're at a episode seventeen of the podcast, and we're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not even scripted. Yeah. <laughs> So, but like, you know, like, man, like, towards the middle of Always Sunny is like the best. Man. Like, when Frank commandeers that boat, dude. Oh, yeah. He's telling them all about how the boys' hole <laughs> and shit, you know? It's just. You Frank's know. such a good character. Man. The best. Putting oh, him yeah. on that show was so fucking brilliant and yeah. perfect, man. Yeah. That, and it's like, I love comedy like that, and there's not many shows especially new like yeah it's man. almost like comedy tv shows and movies aren't Much it's not the same as it anymore. used to be even the dave way they like really structure funny. them i like dave and like you know there's ones that have been running for like curb your enthusiasm like has been running for so long yeah you know I love curb yeah enthusiasm. it's great but there's nothing new that's really hitting like that or at least catching my attention like that yeah dave is newer though and uh, I don't know, the season finale of the last season of Dave, I was in tears, dude, with yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Dude, when he's in that booth singing, like, <laughs> have you, oh, man, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. That is unbelievably funny. Like, I watched, I think, the first season. I don't know if I've watched past that. Oh, man. Because they're on, like, season three, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Season three or four, something like that so funny dude yeah 
Brad Pitt's hilarious. I've always been a big Brad Pitt fan. Though. Yeah. He's like one of those OG actors now, you know? Like he just does what he wants. Yeah. He just shows up and just, yeah. He's like, well, I'm Brad Pitt. And you're like, you're right. Well, you I, are Brad Pitt. You can do what you there's want. There's something dude. about serious actors doing something funny that yeah. makes it funnier because yeah. they've never really played like a funny role. I feel like Brad Pitt. Yeah, I heard uh, done you some. See, some, but no, it's always like smooth funny. Were you yeah. guys Naked Gun fans? I, oh, man. Did you see they're re- remaking Naked Gun with Liam Neeson? Oh. oh. I thought it was just like talk about it. Yeah. It might be. It might be. Because that would that'd be perfect. Like Seth MacFarlane's doing it, I believe. Oh, oh that'd man. be really good. That should be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Like all the, the Naked original Guns. original Naked Guns are so, so fucking funny. I dude. love that type of humor. Me too. It's just like witty, like. Yeah. That, that's another That's another one. Um, you know, when we've talked about like our comedic influences is definitely like the Naked God movies. and Oh, yeah. Leslie Nielsen. Y- yeah. He, it, so just good. that like being able to be serious and not break. In yeah, the, you know, not break character, but say stoic. the most crazy things. Yeah. I like doing that to people. Y- yeah, yeah. Um, and part like part of the fun's holding it back. Yeah. Like it, and whenever you can't, it makes it even funnier. You're, uh, yeah, you're just like I can't even. I, I have there's a nothing laughing. funnier than when you're trying to get something out and like you just can't because it's <laughs> making you laugh so yep. hard. Yeah, you're like I don't even care if you think this is funny at this point. Like I laugh at myself way too much. So yeah. like when I be like setting something up, I'm already laughing in my head. And I'm just like I'm fucking this up. Like <laughs> I make myself cry laughing yeah. sometimes. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I was watching that old skit the other day and laughing. The mask one, dude. I was like... Oh, yeah, I was laughing when I watched it again. I, re- I, I like, touched it up a little bit and, like, cut it down a little bit and uh, kept only the parts that, like, really made me laugh. I love you reposting all your old stuff like that. And so, Well, sometimes I forget that I have them, man. Yeah. So, like, whenever I came across that one, like, I watched it and was like, all right, I'm going to try and, like, slim it down. Because it was two minutes. I cut it down to a minute. And, like, just seeing me eat that cereal with the mask on, dude, (laughs) it gets me every time. And the, and talking to the the pizza man. The stain on the mask. Yep. I don't know why, but the pause, whenever I'm telling the pizza man, I don't think I could talk to you. If you don't have a mask on like i don't know what it is with the pause there but like it makes me laugh every time i just want to be as safe as you are <laughs> yeah but people I, I, still do that with masks dude. oh yeah it's like nuts yeah just walking around looking like shredder out here dude <laughs> <laughs> there's like people that i'd met during the pandemic whenever they wore masks all the time and i'll see them now and i don't recognize them <laughs> without they, their mask without their masks yeah. i'm just like oh who was that that just walked up to me in walmart and was talking to me dude that was like the best time for ugly people <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah they shined so hard during that time dude it let me make faces at people too like when i would be like oh, yeah. someone would say something ridiculous I could make faces. I would mouth different words like cunt, you know, like, <laughs> and then like at, we, we all took our masks off and I'm like, all right, I got to behave myself. I, I I really miss being able to go places like Walmart and, uh, you know, if I, I saw somebody I knew, I could, they would either not recognize me because I had my mask on, or even if they did and I recognized them, I could pretend that I didn't. Yep. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. That yeah. Is. And everyone was like, well, how do they feel about me walking up to talk to them? Yeah. Because we're supposed to be five feet apart. So yeah. I would just like walk yeah, around like on a mission. Distance. It was like so much easier to steal, too. <laughs> yeah, everyone had masks <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was the guy in the mask. Right. Mhm. Yeah. I just hide my hair. Throw a mask on. Yeah. Or let your hair put down. Put my hair down. Put a mask. On. It's some lady. Yep. <laughs> Got him. 
Works every time. Hashtag got him. That's how I roll, dude. Yeah, it. I just maybe if Walmart's open back up twenty four seven, I'd they feel fucking better. Need too. to, because like I've gotten to the point will. now where I don't like going grocery shopping just because they're putting online orders together. So it's not even the old people I'm fighting. Now it's employees with them huge carts that are oh, putting yeah. like curbside dude, pickup orders. They think they own that store, dude. Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm just trying to get in and get out. Like I'm not trying yeah. to hang out. They're just as bad as mailmen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a mailman pulled out in front of me today. I was pissed. I was like, why would you do that? I'm doing f- it. The speed limit is 55 miles an hour. Why would you do that right now? Dude, you see me coming. Amazon drivers do the same thing. Yeah. I get them in the vans all the time. They'll pull out in front of me and I'm like, you're lucky. I have like five packages I'm waiting on today. I, <laughs> I need like a Mad Max car, dude. <laughs> 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 fucking drives me bananas man it's like samurai swords come out of the hubcaps yeah, of your your car and slice their tires slice their something. tires yeah. i don't want to kill anybody i just no. want to mangle their car well that's why like the lesson. the the like mail trucks if you look their bumper is just tire like <laughs> on a lot of the mail trucks yeah. it's like they're ready to go they're like go ahead we'll play bumper cars yeah dude <laughs> they really are they they look like bumper cars yeah You're right man I'll fucking petitioning. But if I have a Mad Max car, dude, some bullhorns on the front or something. We could use some like spiked shoulder pads. Yeah, I'll live like that, dude. Yeah, Mad Max style. Yeah, fuck it. Go around just siphoning people's gas. (laughs) 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 This is an oldies parking lot taking gas from someone's car. Fuck it, dude. It's fend for themselves. Yeah, man. Everybody's dying from fentanyl, whatever. (laughs) No. <laughs> the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Who cares? <laughs> 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 Nothing matters anymore, it feels like, dude. Did I honestly, every day I question, like, what simulation are we living in? I will see something wild happen and just be like, this is real life. I quit caring what other people are doing. I'm only yeah. focused on, like, what... I'm doing just the most random things like I'll be scrolling Facebook over the weekend Jojo Siwa is now like a bad girl wearing like black and like face paint man all those child child actors go through that shit but it looks so fake it looks like satire I had to like research it no I saw something uh me and Bree were talking about it we think uh she like went she snapped a little bit um, cause she like were, was posting some like pretty cuckoo videos. So I think she's just having her, you know, her, her Hannah Montana, her fucking oh, yeah, Britney the, moment. All the stress. Yeah. Who knows what's she happened. Yeah. But it's just like bro. one of them wild things. Like it seemed fake. Yeah. She doesn't want to be looked at like she's 14 anymore. I, I can't imagine. Like, yeah, that's odd. That's creepy. hard, dude. It's yeah. got to be hard. She's like, what, in her 20s, like, drinking part? Like, she's like, dude, I just want yeah, normal. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Go, like, I was, I fucking went off the rails a few times in my 20s. I can't imagine that being publicly broadcasted oh to God, the fucking dude. world. No, it'd be awful. Yeah, that would suck. Off. Look what happened to Amanda Bynes. Dude, I probably would be married to Amanda Bynes right now if it wasn't for Dan Schneider, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that that kind of like our whole generation that were the same age kind of had that crush on Amanda Bynes. It's the it wasn't just whole, a crush, dude. We had a thing. Had a Me thing. and her, we were talking for a while, and uh, he ruined her, dude. He, he broke it. her he mentally, and uh, now Dan. she's just been gone. Yeah, Dan now Schneider. she has a face tattoo. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now what am I gonna do? Yeah, everyone's all like, she'll post it or her last video she posted. Everyone's like, it's not even her look, and it's like trauma does that to people. Yeah. Like you don't, you're not the same after. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I bet it looks good though. Yeah, she's she's got a she's getting her cosmetology license. Good for her, dude. Her, yeah, her she's going to Newcastle Beauty School. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, come to Newcastle, you can get it. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah. Good for her. 
Now I watched that documentary. It was like I still need to watch that. Oh man, that shit was nuts. It's, yeah, it is kind of crazy. Like all the kid stars we grew up watching, and then just seeing the fucked up behind the yeah. scenes. And like, it's kind of one of them things where you also are like, oh, so people like knew, but just were like, oh. It's crazy how many of the parents were like, I couldn't say anything because. Yeah. Th- they would have lost their job or whatever. Like, what a crazy situation to be stuck in. To not be able to, like, stick up for your kid. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, like, that's. It's fucked up. Like, that's how television and, like, show business is. Not even on, like, the fucked up side of it, but more or less, like, if you don't do what they're asking of you on set. They'll just replace you. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Drake Bell looks like a ventriloquist dummy, dude. <laughs> Honestly, he looks like he is morphing into Corey Feldman's little brother. Dude, he looks like a like, ventriloquist Like, dummy. he has that same, like, his fate. Like, like he w- was abusing alcohol, obviously. Like He was begging rough. for a hand up his he, ass. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm begging. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Yeah, no. Like, I watched it, and I was just kind of like, man, this is fucked up. Yeah, his dad seems super cool. Yeah, like, you, like, f- you feel so horrible with his dad for, like, right, trying dude. to do something. Right, and Getting dude. shut out. I was and, like, oh, no, man. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely uh-huh. recommend watching that. It's a good one. Yeah. From start to finish, too. Mm-hmm. It's only four episodes. Oh, is that it? Yeah, yeah. it's just four episodes. Uh, yeah, I definitely. But it was. Know. It was. What? It, what is it on? Max. Yeah, HBO Max. Okay. Yeah. And like they have tons of other child stars interviewed on it. It's yeah. not just. I think it's pretty telling. It's very common in uh, like child child actors. Um, I watched a document. I can't remember what it's called a few years ago about it and it's wild man uh like it's wild yeah like, some of these agents are just basically they the way they work these kids is like what they're, insane. they're, they're even they're, as an adult like you go to a casting call and it you you are kind of like cattle like, yeah, you're yeah. going to be an extra even just like the low we end just of heard it. you, you yeah, you're just waiting in line. Like, not that they don't treat... Like, at least the sets I've been on for, like, the TV shows I've done, like, not that they don't treat you good, like, they feed you. Yeah. But you're just another person another. that's coming through. And if you're not what they want, then they're just going to put someone else in that position. That's fair. Yeah. Because you can I actually, guess. like, make a good... I mean, I think it's, like, the going rate's, like, 250 bucks for could be up to a 12 hour day as an extra and then like little little things will get you boosts on most of the sets in like pittsburgh yeah so like you could do pretty well just being an extra if you could get two three spots at you know in a week yeah but you really have to kind of be heard a lot of time and it's just like putting your time in with comedy you got to show up i think it was uh pretty crazy that like Keenan and Kel wasn't on there. Laura Beth Denberg wasn't on there. That's the one that got me because, like, that she didn't, not even interviewed. Keenan and Kel just had, like, the new Good Burger movie. There's probably a lot of contracts. They were on all that, dude. That's where they started. Yeah, yeah, but, like, they're recent, like... Yeah, they're doing stuff right now. They're doing stuff right now. Yeah. That's Nickelodeon, and Uh, you know what I mean? Like, they're probably... Keenan, is Keenan... Oh, they just redid all... Good Burger 2. Yeah, yeah, that's right, dude. And I think that, you know... That's not cool, though. You sign contracts, you know? Everyone attacked, like, uh, Josh from Drake and Josh, and they were like, he didn't speak out on it, and, like, I think Drake Bell was like, hey, leave him alone. Yeah. Just in the machine. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, you could get that. Laura Beth Denberg, though, like, I haven't. So I seen her as an extra in I Think You Should Leave season two, I think it was. Yeah. Um, She was at that office party or whatever. I was like, holy shit, that's Laura Beth Denberg. Yeah. And she barely had any real part in it. Yeah. I thought she was going to give us some vital information for everybody. She was the best. That would have been so awesome. Yeah. She was the best. I love her, man. She could start a YouTube channel of just that and everybody would watch it, I feel like. Yep. 
I, yeah. I'm sure she still has vital information. All them <laughs> kids from like all that and stuff like that. I was just like, that was a lot of good comic, like talent. Yeah, man. That kind of got ruined because of that. Yeah. Like they even showed like Amanda Bynes doing stand up when she was like little. Yeah. Like crazy young. Yeah. Which is kind of wild to me. Like it was like an improv or something like mm -hmm. that. They had her in there like. The one comedy store they had. Um, a comedy writing and sets for kids like a specific night that they did it which i thought was cool which is cool yeah yeah because i'd love for brie to do that yeah yeah that would be cool it should be a thing i mean that's art yeah but if the closest things are in pittsburgh i don't i'm not even sure like what exactly is even for specific yeah kids you know so that's not my type of humor. Like, kids' humor wouldn't be like... No, Bree's humor is our humor. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I showed you the picture before we started. Yeah. Her, her autism awareness picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's so She's unbelievably funny, man. <laughs> yeah. She makes me genuinely laugh, like, hard. She's had me in tears before. I'm like, dude, you are funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's my baby. <clears throat> Yeah, she wouldn't be able to do a kid set, though. You imagine her getting up there in front of a bunch of other kids and I would like, love telling that, jokes dude. like that. Yeah, I It'd would love that. It'd be hilarious to adults. Yeah, and, like, yeah she would probably crush queens. with all yeah. the adults. Yep. But, like, all the little kids sitting around. I don't care about those That'd kids, That'd be so dude. funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here for them, kids. dude. We're here for yeah. us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give a shit. This is about you, not them. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> you do you. You know, I don't want her to like water herself down. Yeah. Like, I mean, like you, you kind of have to, to a certain degree, but like the level she's at, she does not need to be watered down. No. You no. know what I mean? So like not for that situation anyway, like actual comedy. Like, yeah, sure. If we're a parent teacher conference, <laughs> you know, lay off. It's but, the, uh, the talent show and she's getting up there and doing a 10 minute set that would be hilarious if she, if it was for the school she'd ro probably roasting to, teachers that would be funny <laughs> i wonder if you'd get in trouble for that probably probably yeah. i used to get in trouble for roasting teachers so, but it wasn't you know i was just show. mean though yeah so <laughs> i was just mean i was like fuck you dude <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah if i was there I gave him the old okie doke in the front, out the back, dude. All the time. Yeah. Walk through that field, through KFC's parking lot, <laughs> <laughs> mosey on home, dude. Th that was like the thing at Votech. You'd like, if you rode the bus, you'd get there from your like bus, walk right through the school, out the side door, jump in a friend's car. Yeah, man. Yep. Gotta go. Yep. It's been real. Be back when school's out so you can get back on your bus and ride it home. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I would wake up early and sneak in my mom and dad's room and shut their alarm off. <laughs> so I would miss the bus and I knew they wouldn't want to take me. So I just went out to go that off. day. Yeah. Yeah. It was a sneaky little fucker. I, I grew up like a half a mile, a mile from the school. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You were fucked, dude. Yeah. Yep. They were like, no, you got to walk now. <laughs> yeah. No, they were just like, no, no, we're driving you. <laughs> they could have threw you. Yeah. You yep. were right there. <laughs> I think, I, I don't know. I feel like school, though, was a big part of, that's where, like, the comedy started. Yeah. Like, sitting around with friends. Especially, yeah. like, lunch. Yeah, I was a class clown, for I, sure. Yeah, I was all, I mean, I was usually getting in trouble for being the class clown me too but like that's where like all all of it started yeah uh <clears throat> i feel like for me it probably started before that because i used to like making my mom and her friends laugh doing like reenactments and stuff yeah like i would do uh what, what uh what's her name where put my hands under my armpits and i Sniff them like that. <laughs> Is that Molly Shannon's yeah, character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mary yeah. Catherine Gallagher. Yep. Mary Catherine Gallagher. That's the one. Yeah, I would do shit like that. Superstar. Yeah. 
That was me. I was a little superstar. I was I was doing the uh, performing way down yonder on the Chattahoochee as a small kid dressed as a cowboy. Uh, yeah, that's what my parents used to do. They dress me up. I used to sing in your dad's band. Yep, dude, and then we go get do up there and like sing "Achy Breaky Heart." Bro. Yep, <laughs> no break my. There was like VHSs of me like with a little like lasso on my side and a little yeah. fake six shooter. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> You look like you could boot scoot and boogie, oh, you know? yeah. Boot scoot and boogie. Oh, man. Yeah. It's an exciting night in Newcastle. I'd like to see you get down and turn around right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I would go to, like, open mic nights. They'd sneak me in the side door at, like, dive bars. My dad would be like, all right, get up there and sing. <laughs> 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 like a maid costume my mom made me. little cowboy hat. <laughs> I want to get up at an open mic night and just sing a country just song. Just sing or country something. songs. This <laughs> is something it's, stupid. Yeah. Dude. I always I I've been uh I keep wanting to get up and just not say anything for the full 5 minutes too. Just Cause everybody says it's hard. Just it would be really it'd be it'd be awkward and that awkwardness would make you want to say something. Yeah. I th- I would be in the crowd laughing hysterically. <laughs> My thing is, I, I don't I've know. I've seen people choke like that on stage, though. Yeah. And it is, like, painful. Yeah. Well, I just want to do it on purpose. But you want to do it on purpose. And yeah. then I thought about, like, I would keep on acting like I'm about to say something and not. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be hilarious. I feel like the comedians would probably find it more funny than... Yeah. But some else. jokes... Or for the comedians. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. They'd probably end up being like, what the fuck? Whoever went on after me would be like, what the fuck? It's easy to follow. Kill the crowd. Make them walk. <laughs> There's nothing worse than when somebody makes crowd members walk. You're like, damn. Stay, wait a minute. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> then I just walk more. No. <laughs> Sorry, tried. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I've been performing on stage since I was a little kid. It's like one of them, uh, I don't know if my parents thought I was going to become, like, a pageant kid. I know they tried doing that with my sister. My mom tried that with me. Yeah, and I think they might have tried it with me a few times. Yeah. But then I got fat. I, like, got chubby, and they were probably like, yeah, no no one's taking him. You're going to be a drummer. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, you go ahead and play the drums. It's exercise. My mom, she put me in a couple pageants when I was little. She dressed me up like a scarecrow once, a skunk. There's a dude with a shopping cart out there. Hell yeah, dude. Downtown Newcastle. Yeah, dude. You could have a whole segment. You got segment. that new art sign. People of <laughs> Newcastle. <laughs> He's cooking hot dogs in it. Cooking hot dogs? Yeah. There is a hot dog guy down here, dude. He sells hot dogs. He's filling in the void that there's no Coney now. He, he saw he saw a market, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that it's that needed taps. Yeah, he's like, I bet I could slang some wieners downtown. Yeah, there's bought a up a bunch void. of Coney chili. He's just, yeah, I love Coney chili, dude. Oh yeah, that's probably one of my faves. If, if there's been a slight decline in quality since they started making it in a factory, yeah. Right? It just tastes more artificial to me, but it's still fucking you. good. It still yeah. hits. It still hits. Yeah. It's definitely one of my favorites in town. Um, I, uh, I know they just use shredded cheese, but I prefer that over uh, the cheese like Bill's. And stuff I like use. both. I, I do like it both. It depends on the mood I'm in. Yeah. But overall... I prefer the shredded cheese more. Yeah. I if I mean, had to pick the two, like with a gun to my head, it'd be Coney. Like in Elwood, we have Red Hots, and he just slangs like pieces of American like singles on there and then pours <laughs> the chili over top of it. Dude. Yeah. It's, it's like one of them places where like if you know about it and you're from the area, you probably love it. And if you're not, you probably aren't a fan because it's just old school hot dog shop. Like you still pay cash there. Like they don't take card, yeah. but it's just, uh, it's so, I mean, I eat it all the time and it, 
I don't want Kraft singles on it, dude. It, I mean, it gets <laughs> melted with the chili, but like that's just their thing. Yeah, that's still. It's well, probably not throw cra- some Velveeta. To be on fair, there. it's probably not Kraft. Right, which but, is even worse. <laughs> it's just like. But he'll just slang them on there and then pour the chili. Hmm. Yeah. He's, Small fries, like a regular size to go. He's container. duping you guys with cheap cheese. Oh, it, it, <laughs> he's running your pockets right now. It was cheap, cheap glizzies, cheap glizzies, dog. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's something about. Uh, I guess. No, there's no guessing. I don't want. You don't want that. No, I don't. <laughs> Shredded cheese. I just no matter how I think about it, I'm like, ugh. I barely <laughs> like. I barely like American cheese like that. Yeah, like. I just love cheese. Like, yeah. I'll straight up two in the morning, go out to the fridge, open up like two craft singles, eat the cheese. Yeah, Especially man. if way it's back not down. melted. Yeah. Like, if I get a cheeseburger from like Burger King and the cheese isn't melted on the corners, I'll rip it off because it's just. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you on that. It's disgusting. I'm not that picky. I don't. I don't. I just can't eat. I don't like. Uh, cheese like that i like like provolone pepper jack i love cheese yeah something about american cheese yeah no it's not real cheese yeah that's really what it comes down to goddamn americans dude i like communist cheese yeah (laughs) fascist cheese government cheese (laughs) it was real american because real american cheese is just colby and uh cheddar i think yeah Um, it doesn't taste like that doesn't at all but nobody uses real American cheese. They use that plastic fucking... Yeah. I think that's the, the... Yeah. It you could, smells like butthole. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. It doesn't really have Maybe a dirty taste. butthole. It's more of a texture with American cheese. Yeah. There's not much... Because, like, isn't... There's a thing where they, like, do apple pie with a slice of American cheese on yeah. it. Yeah. Like, that's a real thing. Do you remember when they used to, I don't know. Maybe it was just Newcastle School District that put... The American cheese slices on the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What? No. That's, I don't know. I mean, on top of them, not even in in the, the sandwiches. Fuck? On top of them. I, I think it was a thing to keep the bread fresh, personally. But it was just something that nobody. American I cheese lo- slice on top of your peanut like, butter and jelly sandwich. We can waste some American cheese <laughs> yeah. just to keep this bread moist. Yeah. You throw it on your sandwich if you want. <laughs> Jesus, no, I don't. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna go home and make that peanut butter and American sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds gross, dude. Doesn't it? Am it I does. the only one? Uh, it it, no, it, it sounds it, absolutely it fucking disgusting. Okay. But some of the most disgust, like disgust, disgusting combinations, are like delicious. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Well, Some, yeah. Sometimes you're like. That shouldn't go together, but why does it? Yeah. Other times you're like, this doesn't go together, and it doesn't go together. Because, <laughs> <clears throat> like, someone said Oreos and sour cream. Yeah, I saw that before. We're supposed to be good, too. Um, and I almost, like, get it because, like... Oreos and milk. Yeah, and, like, that sourness with chocolate and sweet actually can balance right, yeah. I guess. Because you treat. use sour yeah. cream. And, like... Like Hershey chocolate I love sour cream. and like I do too. milk chocolate in America is actually sour. Like chocolate here compared to Germany and stuff like that. Like our milk, the way we I don't process like milk our milk chocolate. is different. I like, so it has a tartness to it. Like Hershey like chocolate co- is like not dark. liked in other countries. Yeah. I don't like milk chocolate that much in general. I prefer like a dark cocoa. Reese cup. Type. I do I like, like Reese cup. Whatever chocolates with that is what I'm eating. Yeah, Usually. I do like Reese's. It's my go-to. I can't. I, I can't wait to get my hands on some Reese's eggs, dude. <laughs> oh, I've stocked up on them. <laughs> I like saw them in the in the aisle and was like, oh, I'm gonna grab like four packs of those. <laughs> Stock up on them. It's nice because the girls never eat their candy really, so like I just pick through it. Yeah. I probably have Easter candy from last year still. <laughs> These fucking kids. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you like candy? You just repackage it and give it to them the next year. Yeah, it's all like fucking <laughs> dusty, <The> white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yum, <laughs> delicious. That's some shit. My like 
my parents would have done like oh well we found this candy let's just give it to him again because he didn't eat it <laughs> i've done it with gifts yeah i'm like oh look i found this gift still in the package that was supposed to be for something i'm gonna reuse this i've had like gifts given to me that i was like i'm never gonna use this should I gift this to someone else? Hell yeah. But what happens when that per like, what if they know each other and they're over there and they're like, hey. Well, you got to be careful, I, dude. I, I just got, got that for Jeff. Yeah, I got day. that for Jeff. It, <laughs> like, I think old school, like Will Ferrell's character, like shows up with a bread maker for, his, <laughs> for the one dude's <laughs> daughter's birthday. Like, yeah. didn't I get you that for your wedding gift? Ah, ah. <laughs> That's why you got to be careful, dude. You yeah. can't just be re-gifting all willy nilly. You got to... It's like a plaque that says happy birthday, Jeff. I'm like, I got you this. What is that, nine degrees of separation or whatever? <laughs> yeah. You just got to make sure, dude. Yeah. I paint it. <laughs> the Change bread the maker. Yeah, the bread maker. <laughs> hit it with a Spray coat of paint. paint it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just looks matte black. The awful matte couple black. stickers. <laughs> like, nah, it's not the same one I got. <laughs> Must be the new version. It smells like aerosol. <laughs> <laughs> you want to let that dry before you make any bread. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you just got to be careful with what you regift to who, man. That's yeah. all. There's an art to it. There's an art. Yeah, the art of regifting. It's good if you know people in multiple states. Yeah, no, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah, That's perfect, dude. You just mail it to them. You know, somebody gives you some flowers. Somebody in Maryland, you know, died. Send the flowers over, dude. Yeah. I mean, what if you find the loophole where you have some uh, someone wants a gift, so you tell the person getting you a gift that you want that gift for you to just gift to them. That's perfect. Bam. Yeah. Now you don't have to spend any money. Yeah. Yeah. 150 bucks saved. Found in a loophole for a new bread maker. For a new bread maker. <laughs> <laughs> Lightly spray painted. Mama's little baby little shortening shortening. <laughs> Mama's little baby little shortening bread. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it, really. Oh, shit. You think they're racing? That truck and that little Civic? He's probably looking for his sheets to park his truck at. <laughs> Hang out. Yeah, he's probably like 17. <laughs> yeah. Just drinking Prime out in the fucking parking lot. <laughs> Only a couple more hours on my Cinderella license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man. man! I'd rather them drive than old people, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know that's not an old person with that kind of exhaust. No, I'm actually terrified of Chloe driving. Yeah, you know, I mean she's going to be 15 this year, so like another year. Or yeah, so. it's coming up. Yeah, it's not. It's not her driving. It's the other drivers around her. I'm also worried about her. Really? Yeah. I don't know. You like just teach her to drive right. That's all follow the rules yeah don't be on your phone sure you know what i mean like (laughs) all the things i don't do right (laughs) now (laughs) don't do what i'm doing yeah do as i say not as i do i'm just looking through my spotify playlist i'm just trying to find a good song to pull up to this red light (laughs) yeah (laughs) roll your window down i uh i don't think she'll be necessarily a bad driver but like it it's just I know you're just not necessarily a good driver at that age in general. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter how good of a... You could be the best driver for your age, but, like, you just don't know about You're a new driver either way. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be like, oh, shit, I didn't fully realize how much I can't see somebody out of my... Those blind spots, dude. Yeah. Well, and just, like, your nerves. Yeah. Certain thing, you know, you're not, not used to all that crazy... Different things happen, different drivers, so, like, your nerves get the best of you at that age. I wonder if she's going to be a road rager like me. Probably. I'm horrible. I'll, I mean, I will roll windows down. I'll stop. My road rages. I saw Anthony throw a turtle shell out of his, dude. <laughs> my, my rage knows no bounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a pretty bad road rager. I get mad over the dumb, like, I get mad over other people being nice to me. Like, they're like, go ahead. I'm like, you, fuck you. You were at the stop sign first. You just wasted a bunch of time. <laughs> I said, you go. Yeah. You wasted 30 seconds of my day. <laughs> you should have just went. 
you were obviously at the stop sign first, dude. Like, when I was younger, I was real bad. Like, I would, like, throw drinks through windows. Like, I'd have, like, a half drink, like, sweet tea for McDonald's. Someone pissed me off. I'd be like, ears now, through the window. I do change. I change. still do. Yeah, I'm yeah. a change tosser. Just flick it. If you're riding my ass, I just... Now I'm like, just leave me alone and stay away from me. Especially since the baby's here. Like, if the baby's in yeah. the vehicle, I'm just on edge yelling at people like you're too close the baby sound asleep through yeah your rage and that's I'm, how the baby sleeps yeah just she sleeps so good when i'm raging yeah. <laughs> it's comforting yeah. when i'm just window down motherfucking people out the window like you just have metal music playing in her <laughs> as loud as it can go yeah just, as soon as you turn it off she wakes up yep <laughs> yeah she she like sleeps real well in the chaos it's good dude yeah it's good the best way to learn you know so i just drive around yelling at people when i need her to sleep it's good to know if i ever need to babysit yeah you just yell at people that's what i already do <laughs> in the car <laughs> i just found a youtube channel it's like nine hours of traffic in jersey it works you just put it on she sleeps so well <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god what was that remember we found that one guy um that would drive around new york with his like feet out <laughs> do you remember that what? yeah so whenever i had all the foot stalkers for a while <laughs> you remember that i yeah. did that fucking foot selling foot pick skit or whatever like a bunch of dudes thought it was serious oh yeah they were about it and uh there's this guy that has a whole youtube channel about feet and he drives around new york barefoot and just like wiggles his toes around <laughs> all kinds of stuff gives you updates about how hot and sweaty his feet like all kinds of nutty shit i'm like he has followers he's dude. probably getting paid i gotta pull the tootsies out of here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it this little piggy went to the market today <laughs> I said, what are you doing? I'm walking here. Fucking, I'm, it was nuts, though. I couldn't believe it, man. I was like, this is, what a strange niche. Yeah, I what, remember. You, what side of YouTube have I fallen? Into? I mean, he probably, it probably started with a foot stalker, and then he realized, I can just make this content, monetize it, I think he's get into paid. It. I think he's into the foot stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he seemed pretty into it, man. Peggy dipping. Yeah. Yeah. People are nuts, man. There's a YouTube channel for everyone, I guess. Yeah, there's at least a subreddit. I, like, try to stay off of Reddit. Why? Because, like, Reddit's I will go amazing. down the, these rabbit holes of just subreddits of, like, crazy, wild things. Yeah. I'm and, definitely and I'm just like, all right, holes. it's been five hours now, and I have to work in two. Like, I do the same thing with YouTube, though. I do with I do YouTube. It with everything, I guess. YouTube, though, like, I feel like keeps me s somewhat yeah like um, in yeah probably pro i think the biggest reason for that is so like probably the algorithm yeah well like youtube also like their restrictions on things like oh, i'll yeah. be on reddit and a subreddit going like down the rabbit hole of aliens and it'll just be like some dude's like eight inch cock i'm like <laughs> what the fuck is this <laughs> damn like then you just keep scrolling like yeah. oh okay and he's fucking an alien <laughs> flashlight it, it would just be wow well i went down that there's a whole dude that makes fleshlights out of everything and i went down this subreddit and i mean everything like and it's real fleshlights that look like like things. things yes S like tacos everything like stick of butter Pina like belcher anything like uh, uh belcher well, i'm trying to think of like some of the things he was doing like a mailbox a mailbox. and then you like open the door and there's the fucking pussy right. of the flashlight and like and they're all you like working flashlights why would anybody want to fuck a mailbox it I mean, I guess, like, my strange addiction is that guy was, like, fucking his car's tailpipe. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on yeah. again. Anytime. I like I like sitting here and bullshitting with you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's always fun. It's always fun to just fucking yeah. hang around. We're just shooting fucking, the shit today. Yeah, yeah, dude. I like it. Yeah, man. I'm feeling low energy today. 
Yeah, I could use a nap. Glad I had this C4 to carry me through, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Check out Midsummer Madness. Midsummer yeah. Madness. Yeah. And uh, go check out April. 13th and 14th of yeah. April. Yeah, I'd check that out. Hotel. That sounds fun, dude. Yeah. I might be there. Yeah. yeah. Be a good time. Hopefully, it would be cool if we brought the stuff. I mean, if we can, we'll see. Yeah. But if not, I definitely want to check it out either way. Yeah. Okay. So awesome. Bye. Thanks, Cousin Jeff. Another one down. Another one in the books. The block, bang the right, make the left. Thing I like, made him stretch. Candle lights, graves are set. Not only that, though, all his weight was wet. Hustle dummies, fucked the money and was way in debt.